Richard, could you tell us how Dennis O'Brien won uh, the Soy Save contract? Yeah, Dennis O'Brien won the Soy Save contract in 1998. Do you know the Soy Save contract that Dennis O'Brien, you know, four people went to prison. I'm one of the people that went to prison for standing against water meters. Now, have you got, have you got something to say to me? Because uh, Dennis O'Brien shouldn't have gotten that Soy Save contract. There should have been no injunction. There should have been no citizens jailed. Do you know how, what my children went through while I was thrown into prison? Sellouts. Would you like would you like to come down to my house, Richard, and explain to my children why I was in prison for nearly four weeks? Would you? Would you like to come down to Bernie Hughes' family and explain to why she was thrown in prison? What about Damien and Ollie? Hi, sorry, I was just dropping in a newsletter there just to keep Don't in touch. Don't that, he's a traitor. Sell the people out. Lose his people, he sold them out. No way. Fine. No shorts. Now, Richard, would you like would you like to come down and talk to my children about why I was thrown into prison? Because your party took more corrupt payments from Dennis O'Brien and other businessmen. How many? How many? How many politicians uh, had debts written down off IBRC that are below the ten million threshold that you're putting into into the investigation? How many? Politicians from 1 million up to 10 million have had debts written off by IBRC. Richard, are you one, are you are, Richard, are you one TD that had debts written off by IBRC? Did you have debts written off by IBRC, Richard? Richard, would you explain why under TTIP uh, farmers are going to lose out to the tune of 50 million? You know, is it just uh, ordinary farmers or is it Fine Gael farmers as well? Could you explain why under TTIP that cor big major corporations are going to be able to sue the Irish state, which is us, the people, and you are facilitating that again? What is it with your party and selling out this, the people of this country, Richard? Do you like this to be uh, your debate, mates? Just ignore the old jobs have been as well. I mean, how many jobs have been lost in Cadbury's and you're here playing the old uh, soil and talk? Are you sending yourself to Coventry or what's the form? You're that shame to yourself. I'd love to know, Minister. You should be listening to the public. You're his party party, Richard. That's all you're selling us out. You're his version of the Tories. Richard, would you explain to us why... Your party, well, your gracious leader, and the, the gobshite Kenny, went and disappeared for two weeks. And when he came out hiding after two weeks, he was complaining about five million the FAI got off. Sorry, I was just dropping in a newsletter there just to keep in touch. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Now, will you explain to us why end of the gobshite, the little weasel Kenny? Uh, was complaining about five million the FAI got, and she didn't mention one word about the six hundred and sixty million in debt written down by Dennis O'Brien. Billionaire. Peter Gale. He sold you. He's a lawyer. Don't believe them. Don't believe me. I'm getting put outside the door thanks to these sellouts. What's the matter, doggo?